the New Jersey Devils, Prudential Center, the Newark YMCA, and IKEA are hosting a ribbon cutting for the official opening of the newly renovated Youth Emergency Services, otherwise known as YES, program at the YMCA of Newark and vicinity. Here to tell us more about that is President and CEO of the Newark YMCA, Michael Bright. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Michael, great for you to be here this morning with us. So tell us, what are some of the renovations in the Youth Emergency Services Shelter in Newark? Yes, yeah, so um, thanks to the collaboration, we were able to basically update an aging facility. We have new floors, new appliances, bookshelves, uh, lounge, lounge furniture, uh, televisions, things for the kids to basically continue to, to use our space as their home. I love that. And, and how has the collaboration with all of these great companies impacted the YMCA of Newark and vicinity? It's, it's significantly impacted us. Uh, you know, one, having these companies uh, elevate the work that we do so that the people you know, know that we're, the great work that we're doing. But also as a not for profit, not having a lot of funds laying around, you know, it, it helps us speed up much needed renovations like this. So uh, it takes a burden off our shoulders, but it also allows us to make sure that people in the community know the, the great work that we're doing. Yeah, and that's where we have you on the show this morning to spread that good news. So how would this newly refurbished space impact Newark's youth? So just so that everyone's aware, you know, the youth that come here are homeless. They're removed from the house for some reason. Some For them, parents, uh, someone just gave up on them, counted them out. Our motto is we don't count you out. So when they come in at their lowest point, most likely, we want to make sure they come into a safe, comfortable environment, something they don't have to worry about um, that's going to be on their mind. So we want to take that away from them so we can focus on that transition. They have about 30 days to find a more permanent home. So we want to make sure for those 30 days are with us, they're at a home. That's, I, I mean, it's just so critical. Why is it important for the YMCA of Newark um, to provide this YES program? You know, our, the kids that come to us, um, you know, people have given up on them. And, um, you know, if we're not here, who's going to be here for them? You know, at that point in their life, some of their family members don't even know they're homeless yet. So the court systems have to try to find proper placement. So for us to be a relief for them at that moment, literally that moment in time, sometimes two o'clock in the morning, kids come to us. We have to be ready for them. So, you know, that's just a burden that one less burden that they have to think about by us being here and being ready. And there's no day that we don't have, you know, kids in our program, 365 days a year, you know, the kids are here counting on us to be their home. Yeah, it sounds like outstanding work that you and your team do. Michael, where can we get more information and find out more even to donate? Yeah, oh, thank you. So obviously you could just call us directly, 973-624-8900. Uh, someone from our help desk would be able to direct the caller to the right uh, department. Or you can visit us at NewarkYMCA.org uh, on Facebook and other social media. Um, you know, we're here. Um, you know, we're, we're always taking donations. We're, we're trying to be, you know, as best as we can for the community. So any help, any, any amount of help, dollar or goods, uh, will go a long way. Michael Bright, President and CEO of the YMCA of Newark. Thank you so much for joining us on the New Jersey Morning Show. Thanks for having us and let me share the story. Bet. Absolutely. Incredible work. I, you know, and it's mm -hmm. it's something you don't think about. I, you know, we, we know the Y, you know, provides, a, you know, a safe space, you know, possibly after school, some additional programs for kids. But you don't often think of children being homeless and, and having to bring themselves someplace and say, hey, yeah. I, I need a bed to sleep in. I need to take a shower. It, it, it is critical, and the fact that they can do that 24-7 uh, is really remarkable, especially in an inner-city setting like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Incredible work. Coming up, New Jersey mourns the loss of an esteemed official. And later, a new tool to predict floods. We'll tell you all about it.